Next question is from May Punk. Why would my weight go up a couple of pounds after I started fitting into my clothes differently? I clearly look like I'm losing weight, but the scale is not reflecting that. I've been doing maps anywhere. This, this is, is a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah, what the, a great problem. You're winning. This is exactly what you want. Your weight, remember your weight represents just your whole body. What's on your body, how much it weighs. So to be more specific, if I cut your leg off, right, you're going to lose, I don't know, 20 pounds. Um, are you happy that you lost 20 pounds because you lost your leg? Of course not. What you're experiencing is more muscle on your body and some fat loss. Now, why does this look like you're losing weight? Because body fat is more voluminous in per pound. So to give you an extreme example, right now, imagine a pound of iron. Imagine how what that would look like. A pound of iron would look like Very a small, dense. small ball, right? Now think of a pound of cardboard. It's a lot bigger. It takes up more space because the cardboard isn't as dense. Now, fat and muscle aren't that extreme in terms of their difference, but it's enough to make a big difference to where if you gained four pounds of muscle and lost you know, two pounds or three pounds of body fat, the scale is going to show that you're heavier, but your body is going to look leaner and you're going to feel differently when well, you put your clothes here, on. Here, I'll give you what, exactly what we used to have in the gym. Uh, so if you want a good visual, uh, if five pounds of, of muscle looks like a softball and five pounds of fat looks like one of those fire logs. I mean that's the difference. So if that's what the fi they they should so that's a massive difference. So as you lose that body fat, you're going to it's going to come it's going to condense the inches, right? So your waistline will go down but the scale may stay the same. And honestly, th this is where I want to be with every client. I act, my goal whenever I no matter what their goal is, body fat reduction, muscle building, just being healthy, I am looking for them to start to see like their waistline tighten up, they get stronger in the gym, but our scale staying right about the same mm -hmm. because I know that we're we're having a nice exchange. We're losing about 2 or 3 pounds of body fat and we're gaining about 2 th 2 or 3 pounds of muscle. Scale is staying the same, but they are seeing a difference in the mirror. They're seeing a difference on inches on their waist. That means you have a very nice balance of your training and nutrition regimen. Means you're right on yeah. right and, on pace. In, in Maps Anywhere, even though it's a program where you're not using barbells, dumbbells and machines because it was designed for at-home use or, you know, to work out anywhere is a still a very effective muscle builder. If you right. follow MAPS anywhere, you are going to build some muscle, which then speeds up your metabolism. So if you stay on this path, if you have a lot of body fat to lose, and this is blowing you away, why do I look leaner? I'm gaining weight on the scale. I still have 30 pounds to lose. Stay on track. Stay on track. You're going to start to lose body fat in a hurry, especially now that you've built some muscle um, and your metabolism's faster. You know, when I was a, a back in the day, I used to, this was a, a, a way that I would, sell resistance training to, to clients, especially early days of, of personal training, because back in those days, women in particular were very apprehensive to lift weights. So I had this female trainer uh, that worked for me. Her name was Homera, and she was built. She was lean. She was very toned and sculpted, you know, nice legs, glutes, delts, arms. Most women who came into the gym would point her out and say, wow, that's what I want to look like. So what I would do when I would talk to women about lifting weights is I would page this trainer to my desk. Then I'd have Homero walk up to the to the potential client and I'd say, okay, I want you to guess how I, much- I used to do the same yeah, thing. I'd how say, much she weighs? I'd say, I want you to guess how much she weighs. Yeah. And I, every single time they would say, oh, like 105, 110. And I'd say, okay, Homero, how much you weigh? 140 pounds. And they would be blown away to the point where we'd have to walk out of her scale mm -hmm. and weigh them. And then I'd say, see, she's muscle and she's lean and that's- how you want to look. So let's not worry so much about the scale. Let's put some muscle on your body. It'll let you eat more food. So now you can stay leaner easier. You're stronger and more mobile. And oh, by the way, you'll look better anyway.